So, everybody keep asking about the ODM sauce. What is the sauce? How to get you to the sauce? How you do this? How you do that? I'm going to tell y'all this one time. And one time only. Great teamwork and consistency. And I learned that right here. Open your page up because you pushing me to a higher level. A lot of people want to know how to get there. If y'all want to know how to get there, man, listen. Dre the Virgo, she's the truth. What's the deal? What's the deal? It's your boy ODM Slim, and I'm back again with another one. We got a lot of things to do, a lot of content to get into. So let's get into this content. <sighs> lefty gunplay. Lefty, lefty, lefty. Um, they say Lefty has some remarks to do to the black community, and they want the ODM to react. Lefty, you know, man, I'm here. You know what I'm saying? I did a, a thing on Lefty about, I think, a, a couple of months, a month or two ago, and it was like he was like, he was the, one of the hardest essay rappers he believed in. And I'm like, yeah, he hard. You know what I'm saying? He hard. He, he, he goes out of that style of being a, a typical, you know what I'm saying, essay rapper. You know? So, um, but I, I, I've been running to a lot of SA rappers since I said what I said. Um, they've been, you know what I'm saying, for sure, drummer boy and them. I was my, like, my boys and stuff. But, yeah. Lefty has something to say about something that somebody told me what he said. And when he, they said it, it kind of, it, it, it struck me. But I want to hear how he said it. Because the way, if he, he said it a certain way, um, you know, then I got an issue with it. But the way they said it, I kind of was like, okay. Let's get into it. Man, LA dog, if you know, you know, and if you don't, you don't. LA's racist. It's crazy, dog. Like race is a big thing. Like, like honestly, me myself personally, I'm not gonna come home and, and or I'm not gonna let my daughter come home with a black dude. I'm gonna be like, what the f you know what I'm saying? And that's just the way it is out here it, for, for, for my people. And Hold on. And like I'm sure if a black girl came home and with a straight essay dude, they're gonna be like, what the f all right, so they sent me straight to the point. I like that my people sent me straight to the point. It's straight to the point. I thought he was gonna be saying it later on into the thing. Okay, listen, he's a hundred percent right, bro. We're not gonna pretend like Granny didn't say or Mama didn't say you bring the ones that look like me. You know what I'm saying? Like that's where we come from. See, I'm a West Side nigga, so in the West Side. It's kind of different. It's kind of different. You know what I'm saying? We we got people that we deal with different things. You know what I'm saying? Because they, but a lot of things on the east side is kind of different. Where it's a lot of more racial. On the west side, it's like the 18s, the Blackstone, 18s and the Bloods, really. But then on the east side, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of more, um, deeper. You got different gangs that beat for different gangs. You know what I'm saying? But you got like the grapes and the body of grapes. They, so it's kind of different, right? He's from Baldwin Park. Baldwin Park. SGV. Right? Baldwin Park is a city like probably I say 85, 80% dominant Hispanic. That's like going to East LA. You'll get the same type of response. Like, I'm from the gutter. I'm from South Central. My all my baby mom, I got my I got six baby mamas, they all black. All of them. All of them. You know what I'm saying? And not just because 
that's what I was taught as a kid. You, this is what you want. This is what you got to have. Something like me. It's not. Uh, are y'all sick of Lefty? He's a rapper. He should want black women because he rap. We got Capone and, and all these other rappers, Bozo and all that. We're not saying they got to have a black woman. Right? Come on, man. Let's, let's, make, let's be real. Let's be real. So just because he's a rapper and he and it's uh, considered uh, the culture, you know what I'm saying, hip-hop is like a part of black culture and all this, that, that he has to like black women? Or he had to, he got to want his daughter or, because first of all, I want my daughter to come to want something like me, stand up God, something like me. That's real talk. Now, my daughter bring in a Hispanic, I will be like, what the heck? What the heck? Is this, a, is this what you see me as? You see me and him like the same? You know? So, I understand where he's coming from. Mindset. I understand where he's coming from. I'm from L.A. A lot of people that from L.A., yeah, they might say, oh, this sounds crazy. Oh, it's crazy, bro. And then, yeah, of course. But I'm going to keep it 1,000. This is the norm. You know what I'm saying? Now, you got probably here and there where you have, and it's all right, cool. But a lot of times, that's what happens. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? They got some that grow up in a black neighborhood, that business and that, all right, cool. But he grew up in a dominant Hispanic neighborhood. All Hispanics. Everything around them is Hispanic. So when even the, 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 the sprinkle of black females over there, they grew up with Hispanics. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? In LA, it, it's like that. You know what I'm saying? For it me is. to go and have a baby with a black girl, and you know, you know, and I've never been with a black girl, See? but I've flirted with black girls, and shout out to the black, there's some beautiful black girls, but it's different. And just 100%. That's not disrespect. Nigga, like telling shout out and all that, but it's just different because I was raised this way. I was raised to, to be attracted to Hispanics. Straight up. The way they bodies built, the way they have their chest. Like me, I'm, I'm addicted to the backside. You know why? Because a lot of black women have backsides. On some real shit. Let's keep it real, bro. We got to keep it real and authentic. We can't just try to go with the flow. Oh, no, nah, because you know what I'm saying? That's how I was raised. So a lot of people that was raised in like big chest, you know what I'm saying? They like Hispanic women, but they grew up in uh, um, San Pedro and where a lot of Hispanics is at. You know, oh, but y'all gotta understand me, man. They makes you like that and you can't sugarcoat it and beat around the bush. I don't say the N word in none of my songs. Right. You will never find a Lefty Gunplay song where I'm saying the N-word. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Shout so, out to Munchie B and Mariah and them in their podcast, man, on Street TV. Now listen, this man's telling you, yes, I rap, but I don't use the N-word. I don't disrespect your culture. I don't disrespect y'all or nothing. What is this man wrong at, bro? Because he wants his daughter to have a, a Hispanic man like himself? Come on, man. Let's come on, people. Let's be real. Let's be real now. We can't, we can't, we just... Come on, man. He ain't saying nothing wrong. This ain't wrong, bro. Straight up. This ain't wrong. I was watching it earlier, four hours ago. They're like, man, we appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? Does it slip out sometimes with the homies? Yeah. Because the homies talk like that all day. But do I, is it, does it, uh, uh spit it out? Yeah, because I'm an essay. I'm a Mexican. I don't talk like that. In LA, you're not going to sell up with a black. You know what I'm saying? A black's right. not going to sell up with a Mexican. Why not to the blacks? Because some of my most best friends have been blacks. But just the the way that LA he talk, County jail He talking to politics now. This the thing. Yes. Like what I said, I said bro, my, I got a road dog. My, my best friend is from Florence. He, Speedy. A5. That's my boy. That's my boy. You know what I'm saying? My name's Speedy Gonzalez, man. Gonzalez know what you're talking about, man. Listen. Bro, that's my boy. I was raised with him. But when we go to jail, bro, I have a side that I'm on. He have a side he's on, bro. Straight up. That's how it is. Straight up. We'd have been in, in, in the halls and stuff like that, nigga, and had a big jump off. And then talked about that story. But why you was whooping homies up like that for why you do that? I right, man, you know, y'all know, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, we, we, it is what it is. Straight up. That don't 
take from our friendship, but it's politics plat. We decided to do this banging stuff. So that's where the politics come in at. That's it's, that's real talk. This is real life stuff. This is LA. Y'all want the sugar coat stuff. Y'all want to see the, the, the bull crap people on YouTube, the 600 stuff. He's talking real life stuff. You ain't going to sell it with no Mexican. This ain't no other out of state. I don't know if they do it out of state, but in LA, you can't sell it with no Mexican. It's not possible. Nigga, let you PC. That's what he tell you. Nigga, I'm a mainline pressure. Solid person. And this was happening. Nigga's mad. Get glad. That's some real people speaking real things. Makes you, it makes you racist because you're just with your people. You're either Sureño or you're Crip or Blood. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or there's no whites in there, really. It's Sureño, Crip or Blood. And we at war. It don't, it don't be like even racist itself, though, bro. Racist itself. It'd be more prejudice like type shit. Like to where you uh, 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 ad attach to yourself. I wouldn't see those words racist. I would use the words prejudice because, yes, Nick, it's, I'm with my peoples. Yes. I'm standing for my peoples. Same way speakers out here on the YouTube right now, bringing it together, standing for their people. Yes. It's the same difference. You sitting there and it's us versus them. That's how it is. Straight up. You understand that? There's no really no whites. There's no really no Asians. It's just blacks and Mexicans. So jail, county jail, will make you like that. Simple and plain. Yes. Straight up. Now, why are they doing it? Of course, it's oppression. It's them doing that shit on purpose. They're making us war. Of course, it's that to happen like that. Of course, it's like that. But this is what it does to people, a young man that's going through it. So, yes, he's telling you why we're going through it. I've been through it. I understand what's going on. So, yes, I'm telling you, it's suppression. It's the way that they're pushing us against each other. Of course. Making us feel that we're two separate different races and all that type of stuff. Of course. Of course. This is what they're doing. Because if you coming from a, a tribe of Indians and it's another tribe of Indians over here coming from these tribe of Indians and these Indians are considered Israel, Israelites and they, they built the, the pyramids, them all one people. I don't care what you call them, Mayans, Blackfoot, whatever you want to call them, they all Hebrew Israelites. So of course, this they, they make you believe and make you want to do getting to. But man, this is him going through it. This is him going through this, the stages. This is not nobody like, oh, 39 years old, 40 years old, that went through the stages and understand what, why we like that. Why is it like that? It's like that because they pushed us against each other. The system itself is built on our backs. That's how they all get this private funding. That's how they get this, all this money going on. Bro, but he don't understand. He ain't at that point in his life yet. This is him getting through it. At that, 19, 20, 21, 20, nigga, I'll be on some, nigga, what? I've been on nigga, man, listen, I don't fuck with that. I don't fuck with this I don't, because I was in that mindset at that time. That was my mindset. Fuck that. Anything. You know what I'm saying? Come on, bro. Let's keep it 1,000. And you know what I'm saying? Just, it, it, it always goes up over numbers just like Thank you know, you. the black stripping on the phone or the, the blah, 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 like black pro, uh Black too strong and you know Sureño stress it like it's just it puts your head and it makes you think that that's the op right you know what I'm saying and that's just the way that suppression now he's telling you I'm going through the suppression this is what they doing in L.A. County Jail pushing us against each other and y'all seeing it as different things stop doing this people understand the message see how 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 this man it's, it's only two um sheriffs in a, in a, in a, in, a, in, a, in a little, that little ass tower. The way they come in the thing, they come in there like seven thick. It's 150, 60 people in here, and we all bowing down to them. How is that even possible? Because they got us fighting against each other. It's a battle with each other that we don't even understand this. So he telling you what he's going through, man. He telling you what he's going through. Listen to this man's story and stop trying to make it about him. You know what I'm saying? He's trying to tell you how it is out here, Los Angeles. Not this fake, watered down stuff, this whack 100 stuff, this 600 stuff, this loose cannon stuff. No. He's telling you real life stuff. This is how it is out here, bro. They got us feel like we it's the ops. And really, I'm on the streets and I'm battling my own people because I'm from a city that's 85, nigga, the dominantly Hispanics. Only gangs I beef with is Hispanic gangs. So if I'm in jail in the first place, I'm in jail for popping or getting at one of my ops. And that's, right, the same color. Come on, people. 
You got to understand what he's telling you. Listen, please. Jail is, and you got to be always on your toes because at the end of the day, I'm with my Mexicans, and that's just L.A. County Jail. L.A. County Jail <laughs> segregates it so much that it makes you racist. But yeah, honestly, wow, if you're my hurting. daughter, one of my family members, came home with a black dude, I'd be like, what the f***? Right. What the f***? What do you find this for? I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I really would be like that. Shout out to him. I never gave him that chance, so. To, to. <laughs> so crazy part this too, that he said, shout out to him. I never gave him that chance, though. He already imagined it in his head. You got this man do probably drugs, all type of stuff, right? So he already imagined it in his head. So he automatically respected him already. As a man, I respect shout out to you, bro. But I'm saying, where you find him from? Because where I'm from, it's all us. Where you find him from? Did you get him from South Central? Did you get him from where? You, was he born and raised over here with us? Does he act like you? Come on, bro. Because you understand, they have black people from different gangs, too. Remember that. We have black people from SA gangs, SA some black gangs, too. So you got to understand that, too. So that's why you're like, where you from? Where you get him from? You know what I'm saying? It, 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 all that matters. If he say, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm from your hood. I'm from your body, then He probably be like, oh, shit, he black, though. But he's free for the body, And me, so that's why he's saying, he be like, what the fuck? He was, I would be like, what the fuck, bro? What the fuck? What do you mean? Why not? To, but that's just the way it fucking is. If she brought me home to her fucking, uh, family's house to 60 Crip or right. Crip or Come on, man. To Inglewood, families and all them. All right. They're going to be like, what the fuck? Where you find this, you know, this 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 essay or this Vato or this Paisai? You know what I'm saying? Like, it just is what it is. But like I said, man, it happens oh, man. doors amongst ourselves. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I'm speaking it into light. But lately, I've been... You heard what he said. You heard what he said. You heard what he said. It happens behind closed doors amongst ourselves. It happened behind closed doors amongst ourselves. But I'm bringing it to the light. Listen to what this man is telling you, man. Been breaking the barrier. And I've been the only one that went on the uh, Ace Boys um world shout out to pun in them and ad's community so Look. those are two big black platforms in la and i want to go do those platforms and that really helped me gain a black audience and the blacks <laughs> with me and they respect me because i'm not using the n-word you know what i'm saying we shouldn't be using that word anyways period that word if you don't know what it means it's a the target it's a negative words towards black people i got no right using that word you know what i'm saying like that y'all mad at this man Come on, people. What is we saying? This man ain't getting nothing but the utmost respect. Speaking his opinion with, with no disrespect. Come on, people. I'm really mad that we, we even we got all these reactions like, like this man. Come on. And then Milk let the charge. Come on. we Come on, because he don't understand what's going on. That's, that's out. So, yeah. And I wouldn't want a black dude saying, essay, vato, 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 in every what? song. Hi, nah. You know, Sarrio. I'd be like, what the fuck? What's up with this fool? So it's just, it makes you like that and it's good because it puts you on your game, on your P's and Q's, on right. what's right and what's wrong. And that's wrong for a Mexican to say that. Come on, but then man. again, some homies grew up around that type of environment. Now, listen, you heard that then. But then again, it's the, he even talk about the ones that's now in a, that's a dominant area where the blacks is at. You feel what I'm saying? He even talk about the with the and the so-called cards in the, in, the, in the penitentiary. They call the double S, the Compton South Central Watch people, the people that's in that that dominant black area. But they they hood. You know what I'm saying? So he finna talk about this part because that's what they this was the people that you hear saying it because they from this area. They raise around blacks and blacks is letting them say it. He went to school with black people. To each is his own. But for me, I don't do that. And the racist problem in L.A., yeah, it's for real. It really is like that. When you see a black person, it's like, what the f***? And then when you see a Mexican person, it's like, oh, what the f***? Especially in the SGD, there's not really that many black people. He just said what I just said, SG. Come on, man. Speak on your mother. Man, listen, lefty, I fuck with you, bro. Straight up. Nigga, break them barriers, bro. Hey, see, he trying to break barriers. He ain't just stupid. This man is telling you, I want these black platforms on me, you know what I'm saying? Because I need to, it's a, I know it's an audience, I know this is what I'm doing. Niggas, come on, fool. Y'all niggas is want to, listen, listen, listen. Let's listen to what he's saying first before we start attacking people. Please, 100. Let's listen first. You know what I'm saying? When you see a black person in the bomb park, it's like, what the f? Right. I swear to God, everybody be like, what the f? But shout out to the blacks. You don't give that black people a chance. You know what I'm saying? But then you got them blacks that I've ran into that are 
black black for real straight <laughs> mexican killer da, 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 da. whatever happened with them that happened with them that's cool i'm not like that I, you know what i'm saying Shout my nigga he like he, he hired hell right now <laughs> <laughs> Lefty high as hell. Real talk. But like he's saying, like, you know what I'm saying? Boom. Shout out to, you know what I'm saying? Now, that's how we're talking about, the, like the Blackstones. You know what I'm saying? You got Blackstones with with disrespectful names towards, you know what I'm saying? You got different bloods, disrespectful names towards them, the peoples. You got you got uh, East Coasts or this and that, that, we, that war with these, like, main wars. You got different type of things, you know what I'm saying? That it, so it directs these towards them some might might not be towards the race but it may be towards just the gang itself but you know what i'm saying um you got things like um people from long beach the insane the 20s they dominate beef with just mexicans you know what i'm saying so you got that yeah it's blacks like that mexicans like that that it would say fn's just like that so it's mexicans like that his hood don't beef with the blacks it's nowhere around them that it's blacks. The blacks around them probably is like a couple of cities down. Now, if you're saying um, uh, 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 Pomona or something like that, all right, cool. You might have that because it's blacks in Pomona like a, like heck. Now you go to you know, to, to, to to West West um, Covina, then you got all right, boom, uh, homies versus uh, the um, La Puentes. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's a lot of different things. Like so, yeah, it's, but. And that's just that's just the certain gangs the FGB. The, now we're going to to to, to uh, uh, Pasadena. Now Pasadena is all dominate us blacks, right? So you got but you got still got the SA gangs over there, and they beef with the blacks. So everybody will feel a certain way in a certain area. That's what it is. Let's keep it real. His area is all he beef with is Hispanics. Shout us, shout us to the blacks, man. I fuck with them, but yeah, that's a very hard question that I don't think will ever get solved anytime soon because just LA is just, if you know, you know, and if you don't, you don't, but it's a beautiful struggle and we're working Whoa. on it. Bro, that's bro, it. that was, that was prolific. It's a beautiful struggle. We're working on it. And they don't get nowhere till time soon because a lot of stuff, you know what I'm saying? But we're working on it. East Coast is in the Florence is stopping their beef. All this type of shit, stop beef is. So, yes, it's working on it. It's a, it's a work in progress. We ain't just going to stop it overnight, but it's a work in progress. It's a lot of different gangs that we got to, you know what I'm saying, get aboard to, to even get it going. But it's a work in progress. Stuff like Southeast LA and all that, they don't really beef with the blacks. So they, they wouldn't they would, they would, they would catch them saying all that. So they, so them saying, oh, we need to stop war with the blacks, it's they, they all with it. Yeah, forgive us, that's easy. Because they don't war with them. But you go down to South Central Watson Compton, it might be like, Nick, please, it's, it's up. It's stuck. Type, you know what I'm saying? You got to understand, it's, a lot of bloodshed was happening between both sides, man. This man is speaking real facts. Like, I came in here because I heard they said one thing, and then the way he said it, I wanted to hear how he said it. This man ain't said nothing but utmost respect the whole way through. So I, I need y'all to really understand and go through the content before we just we we just automatically attack because we hear, oh, a Mexican said he won't have a black gun. And it's like, oh, what? He better have one a black girl. Huh? That's like saying, yo, 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 yo kids better want a Mexican. Better want one. Huh? We got to understand, bro. We tribal. So in these tribes, we do, we, we, we keep the bloodline strong with these tribes. Everybody, we all tribal. So that's the same thing. But like he was telling you, the suppression. He telling you other words. That's what they doing in LA County Jail. They make you like that. So it's the suppression. It's just because they, they thin as wind up in there, and they want they want to 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 keep the minds off of each other. I mean, off off the police and on, on, on to them. So if the Crips and Bloods and is getting to it, and the Essays and is is getting to it, DP and they they own and all that, and getting to it, they stuff. Who worried about the police being only too thick walking in this dorm? Who worried about it's only twenty, it's only uh two hundred police on this whole campus, three hundred police on this whole compound, and it's like five thousand inmates. Who worried about it? Nobody because they cause cause the police got us worried about each other. I'm gonna let it go ahead and finish. Everybody say I don't like to let it stuff finish, but I'm gonna go ahead and go all the way through though. Was that a good answer? That was a good I answer. I am the president. That was <laughs> Let's be president. And then you know where we got with that one? Nowhere, because it's the truth. It's true. It's a
it's it's, a, it's, a, it's it's it'll never get it'll never get to where it's like complete hey, listen, peace. Look, you what I'm saying? With, 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 it's like, he telling y'all right now, different. ain't gonna get nowhere. It's if he's saying this, ain't gonna go LA, nowhere. LA, you know why? Because y'all gonna prison system. Oh my God! You hear what he's saying though? It's gonna go nowhere because y'all gonna take this little part and gonna make it do some other stuff. Y'all did exactly what they wanted y'all to do. What the media people want y'all to do, take this and make it negative because we don't want y'all to see each other and get together and, and, and just stand tall. No, we want that. We want y'all to be separated. We want y'all to be separated at all times because if y'all get together and understand that we ain't, we thin as wind up here, bro. We thin as wind. It makes you like that and they fuck with your head and I still, feel, like when I'm in jail, I'm with the homies. Right. I'm not with the blacks. Right. I'm not eating from the blacks. I cannot go to a black table and take an open container because I'm gonna get my ass beat, beat the fuck or up, smashed out for doing that. Right. You know what I'm saying? It has to be sealed up. I cannot go buy drugs off the blacks. I can't talk to them. Use their phones. Sit on their tables. Use their toilet. Their pisser. Everything's segregated. So it just puts your head, and everybody goes to jail in L.A. and it just all their head but that's the way it is man the rules were set in play for a certain reason and to whatever that reason was i obey by that and yeah that shit just really uh makes you kind of racist man it makes you look like what the right. what the fuck is he doing on my toilet you know what type of shit like what the fuck? can't cross through here hey big dog you gotta go around and that's just the way it is like hey fool, what are you doing big dog you gotta go around big dog like it's crazy but that shit is jail so it takes it back to the Rosa Park days, like back in the day, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it, that's just the way the fucking LA is, man. It's, it's ugly, but it's, it, they put the rules in place for a reason. You know what I'm saying? But some of my best friends have been black people. I got no problems with no blacks. I fucking love black people. I do. Some of them are my boys. The streets is the streets. Prison's prison. Jail's jail. Man, listen. I don't know. I just listen to all this stuff, bro. I don't know how y'all took this and, and made it what y'all made it. I love the way y'all minds work. I love the way y'all doing y'all doing, man. Listen, happy Father's to all the fathers out there. Keep it going. Keep it going, man. Send me the content, man. I'm going to react to it. I'm going to give y'all my honest opinion. You know what I'm saying? Get them comments. Out the Mud Entertainment, Odium Slim, man. And we out of here, man.